What's up everyone, ODC here, and I'm back, as promised. <laughs> I didn't say which day I was going to do it, <laughs> but uh, I am back with a, another Marauder Task Force Build a G.I. Joe Episode 4. Wow, I cannot believe it. Episode 4 already. Unbelievable. So, we got a whole bag of stuff here. A whole bag of stuff. A whole bag of stuff right here. Matt Edwards, what's up, man? Welcome to episode four. Even going to give him his own display base. Oh, wait, I have to give him a... Oh, wait, yeah, I'll just give him that. Because that's a neutral base, and we don't know whether we're doing a G.I. Joe or a Cobra. I don't know who could it be. Uh, but anyway... I'm really excited about doing this. I know, um, what was it, in the last episode, I didn't realize it was four weeks ago already. Holy Toledo, how time flies. Um, it has been a very busy month. Um, last month I went to go visit uh, Strident, and we went to the Columbus Toy Show. And um, he took a whole bunch of footage and actually did uh, my haul actually on his channel. So if you guys want to go check that out after the... Uh, the video here, um, you can go do that. Um, he uploaded his video on his channel. Um, I wanted to go do a, a little bit of a checklist so far. So, last episode, I actually have to go get Doc. He's downstairs. But, all right, I have to go get him. I'll go get him. So, stare at this bag. Actually, you know what? You can stare at... We can do a little checklist here. He's uh, he's number two on the checklist here. Let me fix my lighting. There we go. And there's... So we made Spearhead two episodes ago. God, I can't believe that was two episodes ago already. Holy cow! And then the first episode, which I got to give him his own base, his own display base, we made... Oh, come on. We made Footloose, so checking them off the list here as we go. Tim Casa, what's up, man? Be right back. Let me go get Doc, Docarini, Docarillo. And then the third episode was my Pursuit of Cobra style doc. So there is episode one, two, and three. If you want to go back and check those videos out, if you can, if you haven't, you can. But uh, let's get these out of the way. All right, pretty pretty excited about it being Friday. I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna lie. It's been a long week. Very long week at that. So, all right, Doc. Rob Dog, what's up, man? Welcome, everyone. Welcome. We've got our bag of goodies here from Marauders. Um, I want to say 90%. No, 95% of this is Marauders Task Force. I'm thinking, oh, no, 90%. Let's just go with 90% is Marauder's task force. I do have to find his... See, this is why I need to do my checklist before I start doing the video. Because then I have to start digging through a whole bag... <laughs> a whole bag of stuff. Get your stuff together, ODC. Uh, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Is this it? Nope, that's not it either. Nah. Where did it go? That's not it. Where did it go? Damn it. I'm still working actually. Oh, here. Um, I have a confession to make. 
I'm still working through <laughs> the first <laughs> the first uh, season of Punisher, and I'm getting closer to the end. I keep like trying as hard as I can to finish it, but then stuff always pops up. Or if I want to do a review, that pops up and gets in the way. I should probably keep these handy. This is my little bag of uh, pouches and extra accessories. We'll keep his display base over here. There we go. All right. Now there's one more accessory I gotta find for this guy. And I know I have it. But I just can't find it right now. For some silly reason. So. Oh wait, is that it? No. Okay. Anyway, let's go through the bag. What's in the bag? What's in the bag? Alright, so we have a gray tack vest, which I will take out. Human mechanism, what's up, man? Alright, so we got a gray tack vest. Check that off the list. We have a brown suit, brown suited body. Okay. We have a tan colored upper torso. We have tan colored forearms. This has nothing to do with the figure, but I wanted to show you guys that they sent me this this will focus. They sent me this uh, kind of chromish helmet, and I, I believe this is from the uh, the new uh, what you call it, paint apps that they, were, they started using, the Chrono Ops. That's what it's called. Uh, but that's the uh, freebie they sent me, which is pretty cool. I might actually use that for the character. Now, I can't show you the weapons, because that might give it away, so... <laughs> they also sent me a free backpack, which was... Very nice. And then we have a whole bunch of pouches. Black pouches. We have some grenades. Can't show you the head either. That would give it away also. <laughs> some more pouches. Some gray pouches. Some tan pouches. A whole lot of pouches, huh? <laughs> Some gray gloves. A couple grenade loops in the gray colored variety. And then we also have a gray holster. And two more black pouches. And that is the checklist, except for the weapons and the head. So we'll get to that last. But, um,. Okay, so what? Any guesses? Any guesses? <laughs> Rob Layfield approves. ORC at War 98. What's up, man? Welcome to the uh, episode four of my Marauders Task Force Build a G.I. Joe series. And today we are going to build G.I. Joe. But in my typical, how much does all this run? Well, this torso I already had. So uh, I want to say around 20, 20, 20 bucks. I think it was like 22 with shipping. So, And the, the, the gun, well, there's a couple weapons that aren't on camera because... That's the kind of the way I work it. I kind of try to leave what I'm building up to your imagination. You can guess along with me um, in case you're new to the channel. Um, I kind of leave it up to your imagination. You can guess along with me as I'm making the kit bash slash custom character. Um, so this is a G.I. Joe character uh i'm not gonna say if it's gi joe or if it's a cobra i'm not gonna say which one it is but 
But yeah, wasn't too expensive. Um, the forearms, have, I think they they might have raised the price on the forearms a little bit. Um, the hands also, the bodies have stayed the same. They're um, on their webs on the Marauders Inc. webs. Uh, sorry, I gotta slow down because I'm talking too fast. On the Marauder Inc.com website, if you want to go check that out, you can. Um, the bodies are eleven ninety nine each. And then if you want to get the lower torsos with the waist included with the legs, I think that runs around $8.99 or $7.99, one of the two. And then if you want just the legs, I think it's $5.99 for those. Uh, I will say this. This is a, uh, a newer body, and there are differences between the two. I want to say it's a newer-ish body. It does have... Some di- oh no, it doesn't. Never mind. But um, never mind. Forget it. Forget it. What I just said. This is not a newer body because I used this on Major Blood when it came out. Woo! Been a long week. Never mind. I retract my previous statement. Um, <laughs> but uh, it is a, a nicer body. I haven't used too many characters like I just said with the brown body. Where did I get the? Oh, Max, where did I get this guy? I got this guy on Amazon. He was like, I think it was like five bucks. Something like that. He is a little, he does run a little bit on the large side. Like here's a regular figure. He's a little bit on the larger side. Bobcats aren't really that large, but it, it still works. I think it's fine. But, okay, so here's our... Let's start building here. So we're going to take... We're going to... Oh, yeah. The uh, the detail on these are really well. Really well done. Oh, sorry there, Max. The detail on them are really well done. Way better detail than the Hasbro release for Max, I think, in my opinion. The texturing, everything. So much better. So, But he's not, he's not what we're doing today. What we are doing today is this guy. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove... Let me fix my camera first, because I'm way down there. We're going to remove our torso, so pop that off. And we'll save that for a future character down the line. All right, so, and then we're going to simply attach our upper torso to our lower torso here. But actually, what I should have done first, when I wasn't thinking, was do this first. <laughs> Um, for some tools that you might need for for this, uh, it's simplistic tools. Uh, you'll need some tweezers. You might need a pair of snips just in case you want to do something specific. Um, I always keep a screwdriver around, whether it's a flathead or a Phillips. And then definitely you want some super glue. So that's our little checklist in case you are new to this. But uh, my my way of putting these tack vests on now these particular this particular web gear right here um, it doesn't like if you already if you put this on the body um, first it, it doesn't seem to want to stay snapped or pinned in um, what you want to uh, what you want to do is you actually want to pin this in first and make sure because this for some reason this little this little guy right here let me get my pointer out because my I want my fat hands getting in the way this little guy right here doesn't always fit snug into that little hole so this is where our tweezers come into play and what you want to do is you want to kind of just use the tweezers to kind of hold that in and then just give it a little bit of a pinch and make sure that that nub has gone through like so see how simple that was now it's a real pain in the rear end if you already got this on the torso and you don't do this so this is why also another reason why you have to separate the torso first now this might pop off I might this might backfire on me but for the most part every time I've done this I've done it this way and it's worked out so um, but before we get to that, since that's pinned, 
I'm going to remove his arms for you. Let me just set some of those pouches aside. We're going to put these forearms in. But before we put the forearms in, <laughs> see how this is all like a... <laughs> I, I like to do it a specific way. Let's put the hands in. I think that makes the most sense. Okay? So we'll get all our stuff out that we're going to do. Get in the hole! Get in the hole! Come on! Do it now! Get in the hole! Alright, there we go. Anyway, sorry for screaming in your in your ears there. <laughs> um, I know this might look funky now with the with the gray. With the with the gray, and it's like why the with why with the gray? But trust me, it'll all work out in the end. You have to trust me here, Captain. Oh, you might want to heat this up a little bit. Um, that's another recommendation. I would uh, suggest that you use a hair dryer. Whichever kind of hair dryer you want to use is sure it will work. But I suggest that you give it a little bit of heat. You want to heat the hole. <laughs> that was inappropriate. All right, anyway. So, uh, let's see. That's going to be on the bottom. You want to have this little piece on the bottom. Actually, I think this is the right hand. We'll just go with that. We'll go with that. It's good enough for me. See how easy that went in? Very simple. Just a little bit of heat. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I try, I try not to have a dirty mind, but we all do in our own ways, I guess. Just a little bit of heat, just a little bit. That's all you need, not too, not too much. All right. There we go. So there we go, that was simple. Now, taking these off, that's what we're going to do, and I'm going to back my lighting up so I can do this on camera, but I have a whole bunch of stuff in the way, and I'm going to show you a couple of completed projects that I have also that I did not do as this series because I didn't feel like it was necessary for said series. All right, let's get our... just want to heat that up just a little bit, kind of rotate the body. Let's get his arm straight. We can do that. There we go. Just rotate it a little bit. Just so it softens up the peg. Alright. That should do it. Yep. Nice and soft. There we go. There's one down. Clean as a whistle. Got another one. It's good enough. Oh uh, yeah, you can use hot water, but the thing the thing with hot water, and I used to use hot water all the time. I still do here and there. Depends on the figure, I think. The thing with uh, hot water is that. It doesn't always stay hot. And then you have to constantly continuing uh, going. Blah, blah, blah. You have to constantly go back and boil more water to uh, to have said hot water. Um, I just use a hair dryer because it, it, it's always there. The heat's always there. And I don't have to worry about heating up more water down the line. So that's the, the major reason why I use this, especially when doing a, a live series like this. I don't want to be wasting a whole bunch of people's time. You know, time is precious, obviously. So we're just going to take our arms, and these still should be heated up nicely. So, And you just kind of want to squeeze these in. I am reaching over the camera right now, so bear with me. Just kind of want to squeeze that in there. Just, just take it easy on it. Don't force it too much. And there we go. There's one arm right there. Pretty good. 
This one might need a little bit of heat, but let's see if we can do that without the heat. And beautiful. Went right in. So there we have some unarmored arms, which is what I wanted for this character. There we go. Looks good. So now we are going to do, since now we got our arms done, we can get these out of here. Um, you can't always detach these gloves and put them on somebody else or use the forearms or just keep the gloves and the forearms in there and put them on uh, another Marauder's Task Force body. Um, I didn't need the gloves because I wanted these gray gloves, but uh, you, you do have that as an option down the line if you want to use it for a uh, another custom. All right, so before we put the torso back together, we want to... Now, hopefully... This doesn't backfire on me, but like I said before, every time I've done this, I've never had an issue with this popping off. Now watch, the one time I say I've never had an issue with this popping apart when I'm doing this, it's going to happen. Because that's life, right? That's the way things work. But it didn't. And it worked beautifully. And there you go. That's what you want to do to keep that pegged in. Make sure that stays in there. There we go. And then reattach the torso. And we're starting to build our character here. There we go. Looking good. I know he looks a little funky right now, but, you know, bear with me. All right. Next thing on the checklist. What do we want to do next? Well, we could install this little guy right here but we're, that's let's just get everything out of the bag first because i don't i'm not really sure how i want to go with all of this uh i can go any way i want i have a whole bunch of black pouches right here so let's get those out just just you know as an option to see what we want to use down the line right pouches we got our display stand let's put him on his display stand so he doesn't topple over there we go now i know he won't fall over all right we've got some more pouches i'm just going to take everything out for now and we'll just this way i know everything's in one general area uh any guesses let's see let me check chat while i'm doing this let's see eh? Oh, it's not Retaliation Mouse. It's not definitely not Mouse. Hey, Indy, what's up, man? Got those grenades. There we go. Hopefully those grenades work out with these loops. Uh, no, the figure is, uh, Tim, the, the, this figure is from Marauder's Task Force. You can go to Marauder inc.com and uh, check out their different so basically they're modular bodies and you can you know you can make an, uh, your own character you can make uh, a G.I. Joe if you want to if you use the right parts or whatever parts you want to use for your G.I. Joe uh, let's separate those and I don't know if I'm... Oh, yeah, I'm definitely going to use these. So I'll put these on first. Now, also another thing I like to do before I start gluing things in, what I, like to, what I like to do is assemble everything first, then take a look and see how I like it. And if I like it, then I go to the finalized uh, stage, which is gluing. Uh, now, this doesn't really take long. I, I'm kind of taking my time because I like to here and kind of show everything off as best as possible. Uh, but you can do it any way you want. I, I just have little stages that I like to do. Um, uh, anyway, let's get his holster on. Let's see. I don't know quite where I want to put this holster. Maybe I'll just put it on the side here, or maybe just, meh, let's go for the front. So he can do kind of like a, a quick draw. Quick draw, McGraw. There we go. And then we'll go with some pouches here. Get this. Uh, where do I want to put this pouch? Hmm. 
Actually, we'll go with some... Well, actually, I want these in a specific area, so... We'll go with these little teeny weeny pouches. And those are going to go in his arms. And this is pretty much plug and play to a T. Plug and play. He's got little holes on his body, and you just kind of fill those holes in with a pouch. You don't necessarily have to fill them up with pouches. I have plenty of characters that, that have the still holes on them. You don't have to put everything filling up the, uh, the body if you don't want to. Now you definitely I would definitely recommend you use some glue here with these. Uh, now we'll go with hmm. Going with that over there, right? Hmm. Let's see here. You guys have any more guesses as to who this might be? I was thinking about doing like a contest down the road, not anytime soon, but down the road and uh, seeing a, you know, first person to guess who it is. Nope, it's not Steeler. Um, first person to guess who it is, and I'm not saying it for this video, but a future video down the road, uh, the first person to guess in that video would uh, get a prize maybe down the road but uh pensive what's up man no it's not it's not uh mirage it's not skidmark nope 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 Go. Oh, there is a piece I'm missing. I have to grab it really quick. There we are. Beautiful. B E A beautiful. Okay. There's that piece that we also needed. Okay. Alright, so I want to get these grenades in there. Now, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to get my tweezers out because my fingers are too big. And these little grenades. I want to be careful here. There we go. Beautiful. Look how that look how that turned out. Just beautiful. Oh, I'm not telling you if it has a hat or not. I mean, I mean, come on. That would just be I would give it away. I mean, if I told you if he, had, he was using a hat or if he wasn't. You got to guess from what you can see right here. You know, that's that's the fun of this. That's the, the fun factor to all this. It's not just watching the character get uh, put together. It's kind of guessing. What could this be? What what does have what does ODC have up his sleeve here? Who is this? Who is this crazy guy that he's making? Come on, you little. There we go. Beautiful. And that's what you want for your grenade loops. Beautiful. 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 Up next, we've got... Uh, now, I don't necessarily have to use all of these black pouches and whatnot. Um, I just kind of ordered a, a bunch of black pouches just to see if I was going to have to use them. I don't... Like I said, I don't necessarily have to use them, but that's what we're going with here. Uh, all right, let's figure this out. What do I want to do? Hmm. Hmm. Could go with. We've got some ammo piece packs right here. We can go with that. Um. Oh. <coughs> Whoa. Sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> that was a big sneeze. I apologize if I, I busted anybody's uh, eardrums. All right. So we'll go with some pouches on the sides here. 
just to kind of fill things in. I think it'll look good. Go with black. Go with that. Or should we do an ammo pouch on the side? No, we'll do, maybe we'll do ammo pouches on his legs. Now, with all of my, my other series that I've done with this, uh-oh, his attack vest is starting to pop off. No, don't pop it off. Stop popping off. Oop. There we go. Pinch it back over. Let's give it a little pinch. What are you guys thinking? Should I go on the leg with this? I go right there. I'm thinking, I'm thinking it looks pretty good right there, actually. So we'll just stick with that. We'll stick with that. That's good. And then we'll go with an ammo pouch right here. I think that'll look good. <laughs> well, thank you, ORC. Thank you for the, uh, the bless you. There we go. Oh, no. This is the, uh, this is when you have to have, uh, light fingers. There we go. All right. Okay, I think, I mean, I'm at the point where I kind of have to, uh, kind of have to start putting the, uh, major key elements to the figure. Uh, so... I mean, I guess, I guess I have to give it away, so, and somebody guessed it, so, but anyway, all right, so what we will do is, somebody guessed it, and I want to start getting to the major key elements here, but, uh, Oh, oh, <laughs> this isn't uh, his direct rifle that he uses. This is an, an AUG or AUG, but uh, I thought it, it went well. Uh, like I said, he this is kind of like a, a little bit, uh, what I do always do with this series, I always try to do my own take on the character. Um... It's a little bit of that with a little bit of modernization, um, with a little bit of the original look. So I try to to throw key elements so you know who said character is. Um, the other cool thing is that uh, I found this little guy on eBay, which is the FSS head, um, just the head piece, because I didn't. We're having focusing issues right now. There we go. Um, the, I found the FSS head. For cheap, this was five bucks for the head. Um, it was a Chinese seller, so I'm guessing it was a kind of a knockoff. But I think it it works just fine. It fits on the peg beautifully, and that's what we're gonna do. Now I don't have his little. Uh, I believe it's a. Uh, it's kind of like a rope that goes around his head. I believe it's a cultural thing. Now I'm not 100 percent sure. I'm, it, it comes off Samoan because it's the same rope that came with Red Dog. But he is Samoan. Now, I don't think he's Samoan. Maybe someone can answer me that question. But I'm going to go with no rope here since I don't have it. And I don't feel like taking it off my Red Dog. Um, but we do have a gas mask here. Which he's also supposed to come with. And I think the rope would get in the way of the gas mask anyway. So we'll just kind of keep the gas mask on his head. Which I think will look just as cool. And then we've got his grenades. Now, the FSS uh, look looked like this. Correct? See how the grenades are? Now, that was their own take on it. But if you look at Bullhorn's original design, right here, if my phone will stop having a seizure. There we go. He's got grenades going across his chest. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on, phone. I know. I'm rooting for you. I know you can do it. 
he's got uh, grenades going across his chest. So to give that illusion of him, them going across his chest, I'm going to spread these grenades out like so. Kind of facing outward. And we're going to peg these bad boys right in here. I'm going to peg the bad boys right in there, right that, right there. And that right there. That right there, right in there. So that's what we'll do. Come on. Come on, you little turkey. Get in that. Get in there. There we go. Oh, oh, come on. This is where I should use my tweezers. So that kind of gives the illusion that they're going across his chest. Can't quite get it, and I, I thought of numerous ways to how to do this to to give off that look that they're that's what they're doing. But I think this works just fine. Um, I mean, I guess if you really wanted to nitpick it, you could use that same vest that the FSS Club did um, with their own take. Um, it's actually the same vest as the Retaliation uh, Cobra Air Trooper that came with the parachute. You'll, you will have to repaint it uh, gray, though, so that's the only thing. I believe it comes blue uh, in package. So, uh, With the rest of these, I think we'll just take these gray pouches and maybe we'll just throw them on his leg. I think that'll look good. I think that'll look damn good. Um, there is one more piece of the puzzle that I did want to go and grab, which I'll have to go find my extra one downstairs but I'm gonna go with a little bit of I mean if you got bullhorn you got he's got to come with his rifle I believe it's a gas rifle original and I'm pretty sure I had an extra one but I'm not gonna waste everyone's time I'm gonna go get that really quick Now, the FSS Club did use this rifle pack, which I think it's just fine. This is technically low lights rifle. Um, and if you open it up, hopefully everything doesn't go flying everywhere. Come on! Jeez. If you open it up, like I just did, You'll see there's the rifle. It is a collapsible rifle. It's technically a sniper rifle, but um, the original Bullhorn, which I don't have, uh, the vintage one, uh, came with a collapsible gas rifle. I think that's a, it was a, the original uh, usage for it. It was a gas rifle. A lot of people thought it was a sniper rifle, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that it was a gas rifle. Um, so, or at least that's what I remember being reading. Uh, so we got some extra pouches here. I mean, I, I could put these any which way I want. I think it's, it's fine the way it is. I think I'm going to start gluing, and then that'll be our final process. So uh, the other cool thing about this is it does have a peg on the back, so... Uh, I do have some options here where I can actually just peg this to his back and he can just kind of carry it like a backpack, which is another nice little added bonus to having that specific rifle for bull bullhorn. We do have his bullhorn here also. And then his assault rifle, which is an, an AUG or an AUG. It's a bullpup. Pretty nice. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Y you can pretty much give him, you know, what, whatever you want as far as assault rifles go. It doesn't have to be what I gave him. I was just trying to give a little bit of a hint of an upgrade for him. Um, well, not necessarily an upgrade. An update for him. 
uh, and uh, a little bit of uh, the vintage look for him as well. So I do have a sidearm. I'm going to find him a sidearm in this wonderful bag of goodies that I have here. So we're going to go ahead and do that really quick. Just find him a simple sidearm to go with. How about a 45? 1911? We can go with that. That works. Beaut. Beaut, beaut, beaut. What do you guys think so far? I do awesome work. I think I should work for Hasbro. I would love to work for Hasbro. I would love to design new characters for, for G.I. Joe or shit, Marvel Legends or any. You know. I feel like you can get away with creating more with G.I. Joe as opposed to uh, you know Marvel. They, they go based off what, what's in the comics with the, uh, the writers and the artists create. With G.I. Joe, I feel like you have a little bit more freedom. You know? Anyway, let's start gluing. I digress. There we go. That's This is going to be my bullhorn here. It's very awkward that I'm still having to reach over the camera here. It's very awkward. Can't wait until my situation is improved. For my sake and your sakes, the uh, quality of all this can go up. Hmm. I'm almost thinking maybe I should... <sighs> maybe I'll get rid of that. Right? Just bear with me here. Get rid of that. And we'll put that right there. Like so. Right? And up there. And we'll take this ammo pouch. And put the ammo pouch on his leg. I think that looks a little bit better. Now with the black strap going right here, I think that looks pretty good. And maybe we'll take this off right here, since technically he does have it strapped to his leg. And we'll glue that guy right there. Like so. And we'll take this gray pouch. That gray pouch right there. I feel like that gives a little, him a little bit more room in the front, too. All right, let's start gluing. I'm going to glue the grenades first. And you just need a little bit of glue. You don't need a whole lot. Oh, oh, that was almost too much. That was way too much. I didn't realize how full this bottle was. I have been using that bottle for quite some time, so I thought there was a... I need to squeeze it a little bit extra. All right, we'll just let that sit for a second. That should be... Glued in no time. This is I'm using Loctite, which is probably what you want to use for this. Just a little bit over there, and a little bit right there. There we go. And just push that sucker in. Let it sit for a minute. Now these can still articulate. These grenades here, they don't have to sit just like that. I can move those around, swivel them if I need to. I can remove them if I need to as well. That's another cool thing. Uh, another suggestion you could do is gluing this peg once you push it through. I, I've never done that just because in case I want to reuse it for another character. I mean, I don't necessarily have to do that, uh, not glue it. Um, I could glue it and then just swap uh, pop the, uh, the the pieces off, but I also use these these vests for uh, GI Joe bodies also, so that would uh, get in the way of me putting that on. Now this is starting to pop off again. It's popping off. It's popping off over here. There we go. Just kind of want to just manipulate it a little bit, manipulate the uh, plastic a little bit, and that's okay. That's okay. It's popping out a little bit. Not too bad. So set him down. We'll get our pouch on here. Pouches are the easiest part. It's these little 
loops like the grenade loops that are a little bit more difficult because the pouches almost want to sit in there flush enough where you don't have to glue them sometimes there we go. beautiful I try not to put too much glue in case down the road I decide that hey you know what maybe I could use this for a different character and then I end up taking the uh, glued pouches off which is something that you can do so you're not stuck with these pouches glued to the body all the time you know and there we go just a little bit right there and then we'll take our tweezers because this is a much smaller pouch and then push that in like so now I would love if I if I was a if I was a good painter, man, I would love to to do some paint shading on this guy and, and not make him look so bright. I mean, he's not too bright, but uh, a little bit of paint shading would go a long way. Just a little bit, not a lot. I don't need it to the point where he looks like he's been rolling through mud. Just a little bit. See if I can get away with using my fingers. For that pouch. There we go. Let's make sure that looks good. There we go. We're glued. We're glued. Let's get these arms up. Glued these side pouches in as well. Now, as far as Bullhorn does go, he is a hostage negotiator. And I like to think he would team up very well with Shockwave, or as they renamed him, Shock Blast, in the 25th, 25th anniversary line. I think he and Shockwave would work beautifully together in tandem. One's a kind of a breacher and tactical armed specialist. The other one is a negotiator, but also very tactical as well. So I think that would be a, a decent duo. And I actually like uh, Bullhorn's uh, aesthetics. I think he's got a pretty decent design. All right, so we do have some holes down here. You don't, I don't necessarily have to put pouches down there. I don't think I'm going to. I think it looks fine like that. It's not a big deal. I could put some more pouches on the back and this and that. I, I feel like that's a little bit maybe overkill. You don't necessarily have to. Maybe I will down the road if it bothers me that much. But for the most part, sitting on my shelf, hanging out, displaying and, and whatnot, whether I do a scene pretty much see them from the front anyway so for the most part there's that um i do see a lot of uh other marauders customizers like putting pouches on every single thing it's like dude you don't have to put a pouch on every hole just because there's a hole doesn't mean you have to put a pouch on it <laughs> plus it gets in the way of um some backpacks stuff like that if you put a pouch on there it's going to give you less freedom to put a backpack on if you want so there we go. And let's see what the gas mask looks like on, the, on his face. I think that looks really good. And this is a Marauder's Task Force uh, gas mask. I originally wanted to give him the gas mask that came with um, uh, low light from Pursuit of Cobra. And I think I might end up doing that. But for right now, this looks good enough. Um, I think it looks badass, too. I agree. Pensive. Um... Also, another thing is the original gas mask that he came with in the FSS Club was actually the reused gas mask from the Joe Trooper from Retaliation. So if you were curious about that, that is where that gas mask actually came from. It was attached to the Joe Trooper's backpack, in case you were wondering. Right, let's get him on his display stand. And we got to get his weapons in his hand, for God's sake, right? 
let's get his bullhorn and bullhorn's bullhorn in this hand. Oop, that's okay for now. Just get that over there. And then we'll get this in his hand. Like so. And we're just getting him, kind of getting him all just all geared up. Getting all his stuff on, and he will be finished. He will be completed. And there you go. There is my completed Marauders Task Force Build a G.I. Joe Bullhorn. I did not want to spend $70 buying an FSS exclusive bullhorn when I could just pay $20 and make my own. Uh, total on this, um, I already had this bullhorn uh, from my childhood bullhorn, and it was in great shape. Um, when I was a kid, I always packaged my... <laughs> I, I know, the, uh, the the patience of, of, of young ODC. I used to put all of my accessories in a separate tackle box. And I still have that tackle box. So I might not necessarily have the figure, but I always had the accessory. Because I'd play with the figures, and then I would bring out their accessories when I would use them. Um, but, you know, this was one of the, uh, the, the major things that I had. I have a whole lot of accessories from when I was a kid, so... I reused this. That was something I already had. The upper torso was something I already had. So I want to say a grand total of $25 to make this instead of paying $60 to $70 for the FSS exclusive uh, bullhorn. So it saved me a lot of money. We got a whole lot of extra pouches too that I didn't necessarily have to buy. So I probably would have spent less money. I probably would have spent around $22 instead, maybe $20. Uh, but I think he looks great. Um, I'm really pleased with the way he turned out. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me lift up his mask here so we can get a look at that face of his. Let's put a smile on that face of yours. There we go. Uh, the only thing I don't have is the rope that goes around his head, uh, but that's okay. Um, you know, I spent 20 bucks, and I got a couple extra pieces, too, that I showed in the beginning of the video, if I can find those. I don't know where the heck those go. I swear every video... Oh, there it is. Okay. Every video do. They, uh, Marauders sent me this with my order for free, and they sent me a free backpack, which is, I think, around a $3 value. Um, and the helmet is, I think, around a, a $2 value. So It's pretty nice of them. They didn't have to do that. Um, but they always send you uh, something free with, with all of your orders. Whether it's a, a web belt, whether it's... Um, a bandolier, um, whether it's a... Sometimes they'll send me a, a rifle. Like What was it? They sent me an assault rifle last time. Uh, but they always send something random with your order, which I think is a nice little touch that they do. They don't have to do that. I don't know of any other company that sends you something free when you purchase something. It's usually you just get what you pay for, and that's about it. But um, I think this looks really good. I, I love... Uh, and if you're new to the Marauders Task Force, I, I highly recommend, um, you know, if you're into action figure customizing or mixing and matching or whatever, um, I would definitely recommend you check out their website at least. It, it might tempt you to want to get into doing some of this. It's simple. Uh, it's very uh, it's very easy to do. You just saw me do this. Um, I could have done it a lot faster, but I was, try, you know, trying to, to hang out with you guys while I do it and know take my time and have fun with it um it really doesn't take long to do everything's modular so everything you know you can put anything any different way you want you can swap out legs you can swap out arms um you can swap torsos you can swap lower torsos um it, it's ve everything's very simple you just pretty much just pop everything off um i used a little bit of a safety precaution i use a little bit of heat just just in case you know something uh, is a little bit tighter than normal um obviously with uh, weather conditions changing you know when things are shipped it's in a little bit of a colder climate or sometimes it's in if you're in a warm condition um like maybe the west coast or some place that's it's always very hot and humid uh you know you might have a warmer figure in the mail so you always kind of just want to take precautions that's all 
Um, but let me go through some of the... This is the, uh, the point of the video where I kind of stop talking about the figure and I try to talk to my audience. So if you don't want to, to hear all of that, um, you can stop the video here. But uh, I'm going to take, I want to talk to you guys for a little while and I want to see what, what you guys had to say. I'm kind of going back here. Also, don't want to miss anybody's comments. Uh, you always thought Shockwave was an army builder, an excellent army builder? Yeah, I guess. I mean, if that's, that's what you're into, sure. Yeah, I like the I like the uh, the, the uh, gas mask too. It looks looks pretty good. Looks like Darklon. No, we've already done our Darklon. <laughs> oh yeah, that's another one I I showed. Uh, I didn't show you guys. I did do a video on it. That was one of the last couple videos I did. Let me just move him over. There's my custom dark lawn that I did. I think it turned out pretty good. Used a couple different parts there. This was mo the majority of this was all uh, GI Joe parts that I kind of mixed and match. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, MarauderInc.com. They've been around for a couple years. Um, I backed their first Kickstarter. Um, I backed this second one. and uh, Or I backed the first two, and now the third one, which is this is technically the third Kickstarter. Um, and those are, the, are going to start being released. There's, I'm telling you guys, the next two months, October and November, are going to be heavy-handed with action figures. I'm, Mythic Legions are going to uh, be shipped to me soon. Um, from that whole um, Kickstarter, and I went all in on that. Um, I didn't go all in on all of the new Marauder stuff, but I got, I don't know, I think it was the tier below all in. Um, so I think all in was like $800 or $700, something like that. So I went the tier below that. Um, but uh, so I got a whole bunch of Marauder stuff coming. I want to say. It might be Marauders and Mythic Legions all come to me in the same month, October and November. Holy Toledo, it's going to be a busy month, man. And I also have some stuff coming from Big Bad Toy Store that I have accumulating in my pile of loot. So there's a whole bunch of that. I have so many reviews to get to. I still have my Venom Cycle to get, get uh, ready for you guys. I'm going to try and uh, get that pumped out this weekend. Uh, the Snarler Cycle. I have a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, to get ready for you guys as far as content goes. I have so much backed up. I, I had to make a list just to keep myself organized as to what I, I, I want to be able to give you guys as far as content goes. Um, it's not going to all be G.I. Joe related. Um, there's going to be a plethora of G.I. Joe stuff related, though. Um, I also wanted to show this off as well. I'll put Dark Lawn back here. Um, but this is uh, my finished product for... Um, my own character, which is Bedwin. Uh, it's not my character, but he's a part of my Sweet 16 team. Uh, that's the name of my team, is the Sweet 16. Uh, this is my tracker. His name's Bedwin, uh, which is uh, Arabic for Nomad of the Desert. And uh, he is uh, my the tracker on my team. And uh, the other reason why I needed to make a Marauder's Purchase was to get this uh, Crisp Vector. That's what I wanted to have him as uh, using for an assault rifle. He also has a, um, what you call it, a Remington M700 for his rifle. He does have this beautiful sword, awesome sword, um, and I wanted to give him that. He's got a, uh, a tracker knife, too, on his side. He looks great. He's got a little bit of unique-looking armor right here. But yeah, that's my uh, that's my one of my the many created uh, characters I've, I have. 
Uh, and if you guys haven't checked that out, I know there's been a lot of new people to my channel. If you guys want to go back, I think it was about uh, maybe just over a year ago, I started doing my Marauders Task Force um, Joeverse. I want to say it's, it's pretty much I explained my Joeverse. Uh, and I introduced my team, which is made of uh, comprised of my own characters. Um, I'm going to be doing an updated video with all the villains soon enough. I just wanted to finish. I've got a couple finishing touches I'm, I'm trying to do, but, um, but yeah. You'll get a full story on him down the road. Um, but yeah, whoa, I'm bumping into things. So there is Darklon. I've seen him, so we'll get him out of the way there. And uh, yeah, so this is, let me back him up. Now, episode number four. I can't believe we're on number four already. So pretty much, I mean, if we average it out, I've done one of these a month. Pretty much. Which is pretty decent, I think. Pretty decent. Let me see if I can get his foot go in the stand here. There we are. And the last video. Oh, I don't want to give it away. I should probably just not give it away. Because <laughs> that would just ruin the video. Because you should go back and watch it. Even though I showed these in the beginning of the video. <laughs> so I guess it's kind of redundant. But, um, yeah, you guys can go check out those other videos if you want. But uh, this is Bullhorn. I think he looks great. He comes with his gas mask and all of his, you know, his grenades and stuff like that. I think it looks really good. I'm really pleased with the way it looked, turned out. Do so you guys have any questions, comments, concerns? Nothing worse than being backed up. I know, right? <laughs> but there is Bullhorn. I should get my little spinner over here. My spinner. Get my spinner. Not push that. Oh, we got a whole bunch of stuff in the way. Thank you. Thanks, Jason. I appreciate it, man. I'm glad you guys like it. See if I can get him to spin. Get some light on the subject. There we go. So there is Bullhorn. I don't know quite who I'm going to do next. You guys will just have to tune in and see. I'm going to continue to do these as much as I can, obviously, if I don't bump the camera anymore. I'm going to continue to do these as much as I can. Um, I'm just hitting the hour mark, which I don't want to exceed. So um, there's Bullhorn. I hope you guys enjoyed this series for... Uh, in the ongoing saga that is my Marauders Task Force Build a G.I. Joe series. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, hit that thumbs up. That helps me a lot. Um, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. And hit the bell for notifications. That helps both of us uh, as far as you getting content and me creating more content. Um, I'm not asking for money. I'm not asking for fame. I'm just asking that you subscribe and stick with me. You know, um, yeah. Hit that thumbs up, and also, um, if you're if you are happening happen to not catch this live, um, hit me with a, a comment. And what would you what would you guys like to see in the next video? Um, maybe down the road, I'll do a subscribers request uh, down the road as far as building a GI Joe. Um, I think that would be something cool to do as well. Um, this way you guys get a little bit more involved than you already are. Uh, so that would be a cool concept. Uh, but yeah, I had a lot of fun doing this. Thank you so much. You guys enjoy your weekend. I'm going to try and do a couple reviews uh, for Saturday and Sunday. Uh, stay tuned. Like I said, hit that, that like button. And uh, love you guys. Have a great weekend. And I'll see you on the flip side.